Hi and welcome to episode 53 of Root Beer Library where we taste root beer, soda, and snacks first so you don't have to. I'm your host Matthew and first off I just want to thank everybody that's caught our episodes. Please don't forget to like and share and more importantly subscribe. Smash the bell down below and you'll know whenever we post a new video. Today we are tasting pumpkin pie soda. All right, so it's October. We really need to do something like this. And so let's pop this top and get into it. All right, so today we are tasting pumpkin pie soda. I'm really stoked to be doing this one. Um, again, it's October. So we should be doing some pumpkin pie stuff. You'll know, get it in November. This is a drink that for the next three months, y'all should be drinking. Y'all like that? Y'all. I don't know where that came from. I'm from California. Where the hell do I get y'all? I don't know. Really looking forward to having this. Uh, wow. Let's go to pop and get into it. Oh, get stronger as I keep doing this. It's caffeine free. I, I like serious pause there. Really, really, really nice pumpkin spice smell there. It was really, really just really hit. And I went, ah, I just thought fall. I mean, everything just went browns and golds and grays for me. I mean, grays, browns and golds for me. Um, just really, I just thought of fall. I grew up in, I know here I'm going off on this thing, but I grew up in Scottsdale where we actually got some change in weather and we would have leaves fall. I mean, we used to rake our leaves and I had a blast doing that as a kid, even though I hated it. That's what my parents thought, but we really had a good time because we make the big piles and jump in it. And it was, it was actually a lot of fun. We got paid to do it, but we didn't want them to know. Anyway, this smells like Thanksgiving. It smells like Halloween. It smells like getting into Christmas where you're cooking with all the pumpkin and the you know pumpkin bread and just oh the pumpkin spice cookies and that just smells it just brought back a ton of memories as a kid oh man that smells so good I'm looking forward to drinking this I know this has been around a while um but honest I've never had it until now so let's uh let's give it a taste Definitely smells better than it. Well, no, man. Wow. It's definitely got that smell. From a taste perspective, it tastes like, I don't want to say pumpkin pie, but it tastes like a kind of a pumpkin spy. Spy. It tastes like a pumpkin spicy bread almost. It's, just, it's got that pumpkin spice in it, and so it's got a really nice taste to it. It's got a little bit of vanilla undertone in it. I wonder if there's any vanilla in this. Um, doesn't really say whether there's any vanilla and I hate it when it does that, man. Give it to me. Tell me. Um, you know, it's organic cane juice and spices, but it doesn't say if there's any vanilla in it, but it kind of has a little bit of a vanilla undertone in it. Yeah, it's, it's different. It's, it's not like an orange soda. And it's not like a root beer, but it's got a spiciness to it, which you get out of root beers. And it's kind of got a little bit of an orangey vanilla undertone flavoring to it. It's really good. It's just definitely different. It's not what I guess most people will be used to or definitely what I'm used to when I pick up a, a soda or a root beer and drink it. But it's got a really nice flavor to it, especially for this time of year. It's got a phenomenal smell. Um, if I were to pair this up, I would definitely try this in like a vanilla ice cream and this time of year you can get pumpkin ice cream things like that maybe the mixture of that would just all be really cozy maybe uh, with the spices of this and the pumpkin vanilla type ice cream might really taste really good um, you know just I think this is something you can have with turkey all that type of stuff this time of year this could be a drink that you do uh, on weekends when you have friends and family over it tastes really good it's definitely got a thumbs up for me I really like it I'm kind of came into this thinking I wasn't going to. I was ready to, to dog this one, but it smells and tastes really, really good. So it's definitely thumbs up. Highly recommend that you get that uh, throughout the season and then maybe beyond, you know, but definitely during this holiday season as we go and get into October and November and December, this is definitely a drink that should be available. 
All right, well, that's episode 53 of Root Beer Library. Again, I'm your host, Matthew. Please don't forget to like and share. And as always, drink responsibly. And if you want more information on this, just check the links down below. We'll see you on the next one.